Quizzes with no time limits in Angel may have times enforced by default in Desire to Learn. It is important to check the settings for each quiz to ensure that they are being delivered as you intended. So this is just one of those strange things that happens, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to go ahead into my, the Angel course, I'm going to go Weekly Activities in Module 2. So first you'll notice this quiz is uh, no longer hidden. But I'm going to go ahead into the settings of it. I'm going to go to the interaction tab and you'll notice that this has unlimited time and no warning. Now when this gets converted and moved over to Angel there's something that happens that you have to check. So I'm going to go ahead into my Angel course. Once I come into my Angel course what I can do is click on this little drop down on their assessments and go to quizzes. And When I go to the quizzes it gives me a full list of all the quizzes that I have in the course. So you're really going to have to do this for each one. In this particular case, here's, mod here's Module 2 Quiz, and I'm going to click on the little action menu and I click Edit. It's going to bring up a set of tabs. If you click on Restrictions and then scroll down, you're going to see a timing. And the timing is going to have some time in it, and it's also going to be checked as Enforced and Show Clocked. So Enforced in Angel, I'm sorry, Enforced in Desire to Learn, means that this has a time limit. So if I go back to Angel, that's like setting this to 120 minutes, even though it's not set and you want unlimited time. So in order to make this unlimited time, we simply uncheck the enforced and we, uh, we don't need to show the clock. Now I will tell you that you have to have a time limit in Angel, sorry, again, in Desire to Learn. There's no way to get around have not having a time limit and something called a grace period. The bottom line is, is that by this being unchecked, it doesn't matter what the time is. The students will still see this quiz as um, unlimited time. This is just going to give the student an estimated time of how long it will take. So you could put that in there if you want. Uh, let me show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and click and save this. And one of the real nice features in Desire to Learn is to be able to preview the quiz right from the place I'm at. So on the quiz itself, I'm going to go ahead and click on the little action menu and click on preview. So this is showing me from a student perspective. And you can see from the student perspective, it says time limit allowed unlimited. And then it gives this estimated time. So the students will just have to ignore that estimated time. But the bottom line is this. And then you click on exit preview. The bottom line is this, is that if you want this quiz um, to not have any time enforced on it, it's important that you check every single quiz in your course and to make sure that it has come across with, I mean, and it probably will come across with this time enforced. And if you want this unlimited, you're going to have to click and save those and go through every quiz. It's a one-time process to go through the quizzes. And then, it, then once you move the course over to your next semester for in Desire to Learn, it will work just fine.